In the previous video, we used the Fensky equation to find the minimum number of stages for a specified split between a light key and a heavy key. Now, once you've found the minimum number of stages using the Fensky equation, you can you can use the use that number to find the splits of the non-key components between the distillate and the bottom. Here we have the uh, schematic for the problem that we did earlier where we had an equimolar feed of propane, butane, pentane, and hexane. And we required a 95% recovery of the light key and a 5% recovery of the uh, heavy key. The minimum number of stages were found using the Fensky equation equal to 4.83 stages. Now the Fensky equation here is defined in terms of the light key and the heavy key flow rates in the distillate and the bottom. Now let's rewrite the Fensky equation in a much more general form. The minimum number of stages once again is going to be equal to the natural log of the flow rates in the distillate. The flow rate in the distillate of species I divided by the flow rate in distillate of the species J, two different species multiplied by the flow rate in the bottoms of species J divided by the flow rate of species I in the bottoms. And this entire term must be divided by the natural log of the average relative volatility of I with respect to J. Keep in mind that I has to be the lighter component and J has to be the heavier component. Mm, okay, and furthermore, we know that I coming into the feed must equal to I leaving in the distillate and I leaving in the bottoms from a simple steady state mass balance. Same goes for J. Now let's rewrite the Fensky equation in terms of just the distillate flow rates. Natural log of di divided by dj times fj minus dj divided by fi minus dj di sorry natural log of alpha i respect to j okay so now if you know the flow rate of one species, uh, let's say if you know the flow rate of J in the distillate, and we already know the feed composition, and we know the relative volatility, we can find the flow rate of species I in the distillate. So let's assume that J is equal to the heavy key. Uh, which was butane in our case and let's try to find the uh, composition of um, yeah let's pick pentane for now mm -hmm. so uh, for our case alpha i j the relative volatility of pentane with respect to butane we calculated that earlier in the uh, previous video uh, i have it right here 0 0.323 so i'm going to use that our minimum number of stages is 4.83 natural log of di divided by dj our flow rate of um the flow rate of the heavy key in the distillate was 1.25 and the flow rate uh, we had an equimolar feed so the f the flow rate of the heavy key in the feed is just going to be 25 moles dj was 1.25 again oops 1.25 divided by 25 minus di 
natural log of 0 0.323 so like if you remove the logarithm of this equation by just doing some simple algebraic manipulation you'll arrive at this equation and I encourage you to like do this on your own just for some practice okay so the left hand side would equal let me grab my calculator and just crank it out real quick 4.83 okay this comes out to be a very small number 4.26 times 10 to the negative 3 di divided by 1.25 times 25 minus 1.25 is going to be 23.75 divided by 25 minus di okay so now it's I'm just doing some cranking out some really hard math you know just just doing some algebra you know the usual yeah who thought we, you would have to do math in engineering am I right okay yeah just cranking some numbers 19 di boy isn't this fun okay so yeah we're just getting somewhere I just want to do it step by step um, okay so di is just going to equal 0 0.1065 divided by 19 plus 0 0.19 plus 4. Okay, so di comes out to be 5.6 times 10 to the negative 3 moles. Which means that b of i, the flow rate of species i in the bottom is going to be the flow rate in the feed minus di, which equals 25 minus 5.6 times 10 to the, oops, this was negative 3, my bad. twenty four point nine nine mole so that was the uh, so that's the split of pentane in our distillate and the bottom now I just want to point out one thing since pentane is the uh, heavier non-key component most the majority of your heavier non-key components are always going to end up in the bottoms so as we can see here uh the major like the uh, a huge just a very tiny amount of pentane goes into the distillate and the majority of it almost all of it goes to the bottom and that should be true for all the heavier non keys and it should be opposite for all the lighter non keys uh if you get a result otherwise you've made a mistake so you should probably check your work um uh so we did that for pentane and we can uh, we can repeat the same procedure for hexane so it doesn't matter how many components you have uh, the Fensky equation is going to be used to like calculate the split and uh, it can be extended uh, that's the beauty of it it can be extended to as many components as possible even though uh, its accuracy can be questionable at some times so I hope this video was helpful um, in the next equation uh, in the next video uh, I would try to cover the uh, Underwood equations, so stay tuned.